All right, this is a little example about APY. So here, we're going to go to a bank and it offers an account that pays 7.5% APR, annual percentage rate, um, and it's gonna be compounded monthly. So this tells us right off that N is equal to 12. Um, to make the calculations of how much for one year, we're going to change this into what's called APY, um, which is annual percentage yield. And this is nice because it only requires a four function calculator to calculate where APR has that exponent and that really ugly formula. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from, um, I forget how I write this, but this is one version of the compound interest formula. Try to write it real small. So we're gonna go from the compound interest formula and we're going to convert it just for the one year into a simple interest rate. Um, so the big difference here is these R's. They're going to be really, really close, um, but because one is under a compound interest calculation and the other one is simple interest calculation, they're going to be slightly different. In other words, this one down here is going to be just a little bit bigger to account for the compounding that's generated up here. So the first thing you do um, without a formula is you save $1 for one year. And that way we can see what the interest rate is just by looking at the dollar. For instance, if you go to a grocery store and you buy a dollar candy bar and the tax is 7%, you're going to have to owe $0.07 or 7 cents. So whatever the decimal is after the one will be our interest rate. So basically we're going to just get rid of the one and multiply the decimal by 100. All right, so let's start off with the future value is equal to uh, the principal times 1 plus the APY over N raised to the MT. And plug in what we know. So we're looking for the future value. Also in um, some books this is called A for amount. Um, I like F for future just because it gives a nice connotation of future and past. All right, so the past amount is $1. But I've scribbled horribly up there. So I'm going to put a 1 there even though you really shouldn't write it because uh, 1 times anything is, well, anything. 1 plus the interest rate from the APY is 7.5. So divide that by 100. And then N we've already talked about is 12. So I'll put a 12 here. And raised to the 12 again times the time. And like I said, we're only going to be doing this for one year. So just put a 1 in here. So there's two irrelevant numbers that I've written. This one here and this one here. They're really not needed. So I can just break this down into 1 plus 0 0.075 over 12 raised to the 12th, and then just type that in my calculator. Now, remember, that dollar up there is not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in the decimal after it. So let's type this into a calculator. So parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 12 raised to the 12. And we'll end up with uh, 1.0776. I'll go four decimal places. All right, so the next step is you're going to get rid of the 1. So basically it's, you know, subtract 1 from this. And you're going to end up with 0 0.0776, which is fine, except we're going to change it into a percent. So we're going to multiply it by 100 and tag on the percent sign. So let's see here, subtract 1 times 100, and you'll end up with 7.76%. So this is what's considered the APY. Now there is a formula for it, but if it's not written anywhere, this is a perfectly way, uh, fine way of getting to the answer of the APY. Save $1 for one year, figure out what it's equal to for the future value, get rid of one, and change it into a percent. So let's see what this uh, 7.76 APY will do. So let's do two things. Um, part one. Let's do the compound interest. 
let's save oh, $5,000 for one year at um, our 7.5 APR. And let's see what the difference is if I do it the other way with uh, APY. So APR over here, APY over here. So I'm going to try to do this really quickly. So the future value here would be the 5,000 times 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 12 raised to the 12. Remember, we're only doing this for one year, so I don't need to write the 1. All right, so this is going to become, let's see here, 5,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 12 raised to the 12 is 5,388 dollars and 16 cents. So the interest earned on this compound part of our problem is 388 dollars and 16 cents. But to do this you need a scientific calculator. So part two, if we just have a four function calculator, we would set up this. I equals PRT since it's a simple interest, we can just go right for what the interest is. We're depositing $5,000. The interest rate for APY is this one down here, 7.76, so it'll be 0 0.0776. Remember, you have to divide percents by 100 before you do any calculations. And the time, again, is one year, so I don't have to write it. Where this one was a very complex calculation, this one is just a product of these two numbers. So 5,000 times 0 0.0776 gives me $388. So using the APY as an approximation, that's only off by 16 cents. So uh, I always call this, what would grandma do at the bank? Um, this one she understands much quicker, but it only gives the answer for one year. It doesn't carry on into two to five years. Um, but for one year, she can see that she's going to earn $388, eh, and 16 cents is the error, if you want to call it that. So that's APY.